Hey everyone, this is Patambar from MathWorks. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Driving Scenario Designer. This is an app in MATLAB that allows you to create and test synthetic driving scenarios for your autonomous driving applications. And I'm going to break this video into two parts. This is part one, and I'll talk about virtual simulation basics, and then show you how to create or import scenarios into the app. Then in part two, I'll talk about generating synthetic sensor data and exporting it to the workspace. So you can jump to that if you know the basics, but we're going to start here. First of all, why do we run virtual simulations in the first place? Well, it allows us to design and test perception, planning, and controls algorithms quickly and efficiently before we introduce hardware. And at the end of the day, this saves us time and money. So let's go into Driving Scenario Designer and I'll show you how to do it. First, go to Apps and in the Automotive section, click on Driving Scenario Designer. The first thing that we'll do is create a road. To do this, I click Add Road and drag and drop a road onto the canvas. I'll give it a center point and drag that out to create a bend in the road. Now, let's say I want to make my road wider. I can use the panel on the left to adjust the properties of the road. First, I'll increase the width, then I'll create two lanes, and finally, I'll change the dash marking to a double solid line. And let's go ahead and make that line yellow for two-way traffic. You can edit this road you created by dragging the road points or clicking the plus button to extend it further. If you want to create an intersection, you just create another road that intersects. You'll see the results of this after you click away. Once you've designed your road, it's time to add actors. You can choose between predefined actors or create your own. Let's add a car to the scenario. The first car that we'll add is our ego vehicle, and this serves as our frame of reference as we build out the rest of the scenario. We can right click and add waypoints for our cars to travel through. Let's go ahead and run the simulation. You'll now see that you can view the simulation overhead or from the Ego Vehicle's point of view. On the left hand side are the properties we can change. We can use a truck model instead of a car and change our vehicle type as well. The cuboid view will stay the same, but we will see these details in the 3D display later. We can also define the trajectory speed and wait time at each waypoint. So this can be used to simulate acceleration and stops. Now let's add in some more actors to our scenario. I'll have another car driving the opposite direction. And I'll also add in a bicycle and a pedestrian. On the left hand side, I can edit the properties for each new actor I've added in. Now I'll go ahead and run this new simulation. And I'll also point out that you can visualize this in 3D as well. When using Driving Scenario Designer, you don't have to create all of your roads from scratch. You can also import roads from OpenDrive and here HD Live Maps. OpenDrive is an open standard road network extension. To import a file, you'll need an OpenDrive file type of XODR or XML. So I'm going to navigate to one that ships with Automated Driving Toolbox. That means you can try this out for yourself. As you can see, I've imported the road network and we can take a look at it. We follow a similar process for importing Here HD Live Maps. Here HD Live Maps provide highly detailed and accurate information about the vehicle environment, like road and lane topology, and it's suitable for developing automated driving applications. Again, we can start by importing here HD Live Maps and zooming in to a latitude and a longitude. I'll specify these values in my workspace. You can change the size of this region or move it around to select different roads. To zoom in and out of the region, use the buttons in the top right corner over here. With the coordinates still enclosed in the region, click Next. We can now select the roads we want to use and click Import, and this will bring them into Driving Scenario Designer. Now that you've done that, you can add actors to the scenario, just like we did before. And that's where I'm going to end this video. 
Remember, there's going to be a part two where I go over how to generate synthetic sensor detections and export them to MATLAB and Simulink. I'll see you there.